Welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you how to generate Rails application elements, such as controllers, views, models, and migrations. We'll use the Getting Started with Rails guide and create some elements for a blog web application. In the previous video tutorial, we created a simple Rails application with a single static web page. We'll be using that as the base for today's tutorial. You can repeat the steps from the previous tutorial or clone the ready-made application from GitHub. A link to the repository is in the description below. If you cloned the application from GitHub, you need to install gems with bundle install and JavaScript dependencies with yarn install. First off, let's create a new resource for our blog application. Press Shift Command O on Mac OS or Control Shift N on Windows or Linux to open the routes.rb file. We'll provide the article resource using the Rails resources method. You'll notice that RubyMine underlines articles since there is no corresponding controller in our application. Let's generate the articles controller. Press Control twice and start typing Rails G in the Run Anything pop up. RubyMine suggests all the available Rails generators along with their descriptions. You can generate a controller, model, migration, and so on. Choose Rails G controller and press Enter. In the dialog, specify articles as a controller name and add the new and create actions separated by a space. You can also select the environment from a drop-down or pass additional options, but we'll skip that for now. Click OK. RubyMind generates a controller and related files, a view, helper, and style sheet. After generating the files, RubyMind suggests you add them to Git. We'll skip this step for now, but if you'd like to learn how to work with version control and IntelliJ-based IDEs, there's a video about that in the description below. Let's get back to the routes.rb file and remove the routes added for the new and create actions since the required mappings are already defined by calling the resources method. Note that RubyMine doesn't underline the article's resource anymore and shows that it is mapped to the article's controller. You can jump right to the controller by holding down the command or control button while clicking articles. Now we need to add a form for creating articles in our application. Click the gutter icon next to the new action to open a new .html.erb file. We'll create a form using the Rails form builder provided by the form with helper method. As you can see, RubyMind gives suggestions for completing tags, methods, parameter names, and values. The next step is to create the article model. Press Alt-Command-G on Mac OS or Control-Alt-G on Windows or Linux to invoke the Run Anything pop-up with the Rails generators already displayed. Find the generator for creating a model and press Enter. In the dialog that appears, enter the model name, together with a title attribute of the string type and a text attribute of the text type. Click OK. RubyMine will generate the model and migration files. To create the database with the specified table, we need to run the created migration using a rake task. As always, this can be done by using the Run Anything pop-up invoked by pressing Control twice. Let's reload the rake tasks first. Now we can run the rake db migrate command. In the dialog that appears, you can choose the required migration and specify the environment. Click OK to execute the migration. Let's go back to the article's controller and change the create action to use the new article model for saving the data in the database. Now we can run our application. For Rails projects, RubyMine automatically creates the development and production run configurations. Select development on the toolbar and click the run button to run the Rails server. You can open the page for creating a new article right from the editor. Just place the caret at the new action and choose the required browser. The new page will be opened. If you try to save the article, Rails will display an error indicating that the show action is missing in the article's controller. Go back to the editor and add the show action. Inside this action, we need to find the saved article by ID. The last thing we need to do is create the view for displaying the saved article. 
click the gutter icon next to the newly added show action to create a show.html.erb file. In the created view file, add code for showing the article's content. To see how our application works now, open the new.html.erb file, hover the mouse pointer over the view code, and select the browser from the pop-up to open the new page. Saving a new article now correctly redirects us to the show page. And that's it. Thanks for watching.